So we are live. How you guys doing? Good morning, everybody. A few things to cover today, and then uh, I have some things I have to accomplish the rest of the day. Some very exciting news, some super exciting news. Um, as you guys know, in February in Mesa, Arizona, I began to work on a technology to try to improve the world, to try to make the world a better place. And originally, I think I told you guys, I had started with the cryptocurrency and I had developed a token with uh, a family member of mine. You guys, where are you from? Hit the number one button if you would, please hit the number one button. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Just hit your number one button. Let me make sure all the messages are on here real quick. All messages are visible. There we are. That's right, Cope Dog Tack. And so over time, Chuck, oh, what's up, Chuck? Chuck P is in the house. What's up, Chuck Bronson? Good to see you, brother. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate everybody coming. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but I, of course, have not slept. Not a single wink. I worked uh, through the night to finish the layout of transparency, and I was going to call it a uh, Terry Auditor Coin, Tack. And I think, I think I'm going to change it. Ironton, Ohio. I'll see you guys in Ironton very, very soon. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I'm running for governor of Ohio, so I have to travel the state of Ohio and go help people. I will sleep when I am dead. I spend most of my time just trying to figure out a way to improve and change, how to improve the world, but how to change this system. This system, it's garbage, it's terrible, and you know we'll, we'll never be happy with this system. So. Let's get the, the house cleaning things out of the way and then we will jump right into the conversation. So first of all, have you guys gone over to the Twitter page? Have you guys gone over to the Twitter page and joined Twitter? I will be opening up an Odyssey account over the next couple days. Um, I did find somebody, by the way, to, to, to build this We Don't Stop. The, the, design, the final design we have is so cool. It is so cool. Um, so, uh, Jack Flash from Ohio. What's going on, Ohio? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see everybody. So, and then, so I have a list here, of course, of things that we have to go over. So, the exciting part was I started this technology in February and I began to build the Terry Auditor coin. And along the road, what happened within the cryptocurrency world, something very strange. Somebody gave me $20 as a, as a, um, donation through Bitcoin. And I have watched that $20 since they gave it to me in January. I've watched the $20 reduce in value. And now it started at $20 in January. And I think I'm at $15 and 50 cents or something like that. So it hasn't performed very well. And then the next thing is that there's a lot of fraudulent activity going on inside of the cryptocurrency tokens individual tokens, not necessarily Bitcoin. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Bitcoin, but I have lost on Bitcoin, of course, because I, unfortunately, I sold at the, um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, let's make that announcement too. Uh, CH and Thai audits should be getting out of jail today. Um, unfortunately, I can't be there today. However, the team that I'm a part of, we have already dedicated to helping Craig file a civil rights lawsuit. We've already committed. Uh, we've already, we were, it's already good morning. As Shauna knows, we talked at four o'clock in the morning and now it is 942 here in Ohio. So good morning, everybody. How is everybody? Good to see everybody. I'm so, I feel, you know, um, Shauna, you can just chime in here. You know, how absolutely amazing is this layout of Transparency App? I mean, this is incredible. It is it is such a game changer because remember, I had Terry Auditor Coin completed uh, and the token was built by, by, the, by the coder and then, and then we had to kind of freeze on it because I'm not going to be a part of anything that could be considered fraudulent or anybody can be defrauded. You know, if, if someone can hack into that coin and take the money out of there, then I don't want to be a part of it. And so that's why we didn't launch Terry Auditor Coin. Instead, I put my time and my energy and my thoughts into how to create an app that would make it so that you would be able to be protected as an auditor. Or we, we actually changed the name to activist in the transparency app. And the reason is because 
you are an activist if you're going out and you're filming certain areas and you're, and you're standing up for your rights. You are an activist. And so it's, I mean, like, I, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say too much. So now, now let's do this. Now, let me, let, me, let me point something out to you guys real fast. And if you would, please pass this on, because this is what's missing from the comment section of absolutely every single YouTube creator or uh, I guess primarily on YouTube. So when you leave a comment, put a timestamp. Put a timestamp on your comment. When you go to leave a comment for me or anybody else, even people who, who are trolls that don't like me are going to appreciate if you leave a timestamp because I'll get a comment on my comment section. It'll say, it'll say, oh, I don't know. I totally disagree. And I'm like, which part of the hour or two hours do you disagree with? I have no idea what you're talking about. So, so if you would, please, no matter what the timestamp is, put a timestamp. Put, put a timestamp when you leave your comment. This will help us so much because I really do want to answer your question. I really do want to have that discussion with you. Good morning, Coke Dog. Good morning, Sheep Dog. How is everybody? Good to see everybody today. I'll tell you what, it is a fantastic day. I mean, what we have come up with for the, for the Transparency app is absolutely so incredible. I'm literally beside myself. I, I can't believe that it hasn't been done before, especially in this capacity, especially in this capacity. I'm sorry, I haven't slept in 26 hours or something, so I'm a little bit kind of parched, and I've got about 30 things in my head right now of things that have to be accomplished. And so let's, let's recap, make sure that Make sure that everybody goes by. Oh, you guys want to hear the Pam Wagner voicemail? Let's, let's play that for you. So, you know, in Pam's, in Pam's defense, mistakes are made. But the problem was you shouldn't have taken my phone at all, Pam. And, you know, Pam said she wanted to work together. And I, I kind of laid out the parameters for, for exactly what oh, oh, my mouth is just so I just shaved I just jumped in the shower and I shaved because when I was talking to uh, Sh Shauna earlier oh Jack Lawless I'm not related to the did you guys hear this can you guys help me figure this out can you guys let me know if Tyler Lawless was fired for allegedly having sex with the women in the jail have you guys heard that has anybody heard that that Tyler Lawless Jeff Lawless's son, Jeff Lawless's son, was fired from the jail for having sex with women inside of the jail. This is, this is what I'm hearing from multiple different sources, and I wondered if you guys have heard that. Has anybody else heard that here? If you have, please let me know. So what I'm going to do over the next three or four days is I've laid out the app flow, and now I'm going to send it to the technology partners and I'm going to have them lay out the wireframes and create wireframes. And then I'm going to take the wireframes and I'm going to put together, a, I guess it would be, it wouldn't really be a GoFundMe. I guess it would maybe a give, send, go. Because what I want to do is I want to, I want to sell half of that app to people who invest in it and then create a legislative board, a what would you say, a committee, I guess you would say, because there's going to be funds that go through that. And if you want to be a part of the transparency app, you need to make sure you have all three pay apps. You need to make sure that you have Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. It's going to be imperative, especially, you know, I would say there's 99 persons of justice, that's someone who can't go out and take the chance of being arrested and take the chance of being put in a dungeon to every one activist who can, like myself, I don't have a wife and kids, so I can put myself on the line. Yeah, you guys hit the like button. Hit the like button if you're ready, please. Grab your finger right there and just reach over and just hit the like button. Uh, yeah, and Jessica, I, I'm not. 
you know, there are things going on right now behind the scenes that I really can't talk about because when you start to talk about legal action, then you want to make sure that you don't necessarily show your cards. And so there's things I can't talk about, but there is legal action happening right now. As a matter of fact, this very moment, there is paperwork being drafted right this minute. You, Tyler Lawless, <laughs> I'll bet so too. He, the, what, the, what the gentleman said in the chat was that he believes that Tyler Lawless, believe, he's such a narcissist that he believes he was probably performing a function. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. When I haven't slept for over 24 hours and my ADHD and all that, so let me just play this, this voicemail from Pam Wagner that she left me. Remember, I got my phone back. Matter of fact, let me just show it to you guys. I have right here. Now she gave me they, they she gave me my phone back. Um, this is my phone right here. As you guys know, I'm a big supporter of Project Veritas. I think that transparency is the only way we're ever going to get to justice and freedom. And so when there it is. And so when Pam gave me my phone back, number one, she returned my phone to me inside of the courtroom. So I didn't really have a chance to film the returning of the phone. However, what happened was when I went to the AT&T store, you see that right there? You see, do you see the, the, the slot right there? That is where the SIM card goes. But without the exact pin to put the SIM card in, the phone is completely useless. So that means that I've had a phone that has been rendered completely useless, completely useless. And um, Shauna, you want to make sure when people come in and say things, and you know what I'm talking about, Shauna, you want to get a screenshot of that before you put them in timeout or send them packing from the page. Because unlike Brian from High Impact Flicks, I just kick people right out. You know, Brian from High Impact Flicks, I'm one of his moderators in his room, and he doesn't kick people out of the room. So make sure you get a screenshot of, of what they say. It's going to be very important moving forward, as you know, because we have moved into legal action. We are taking legal action, 100%. I told you, I warned you, I will sue you. Now, the ironic part about the cars in Ironton, I'm sorry, so let me get this. So Pam didn't return my, she returned my phone, but there's no... What is it called? A tray? So there's a tray? No, free speech is not harassment. That's, there's two different things. Hey, how you doing, New Hampshire chickie? What's going on? Um, so here is the voicemail that Pam left me because when I left, perfect. What, what would you say though? Sue me, you, was that, what's that word? Can you retype that word for me if you would, please? I'm not sure what you said, but can you just retype that word so everybody can see it? You guys, there's 200 people in the room. Hit the number one button. Let me know where you're watching from. And this is the voicemail from Pam who... Oh, you oh, wow. Gosh. So here is the here is the voicemail that Pam left me after I made a video and I said, hey, Pam, Pam didn't give me the tray for my phone. And so the phone is still useless. Corpus Christi, Texas. And so here's the voicemail that she left me. Hey, Jose, it's Pam down here at IPD. Okay. I'm sorry, it's my bad on your show. On that bag, and I did not know it was in there. I thought you got it out, and you, or I got it out when I got the phone out. That's my bad, brother. Sorry about that. And give me a call or stop by the office, Monday through Friday, eight to four, and I'll get it to you. Thank you. Bye. So she says here that it is her bad that she made a mistake. She didn't give me the tray for the phone. But what this did, because I had to cruise up to Toledo, that put me back another 10 days where I'm still using, by the way, thank you, my brother, for, for loaning me this phone. I have a real big surprise for you coming up. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished. So I've had this gentleman's phone for a little longer than I wanted to, but there's going to be some, there's going to be a really nice reward coming for you, um, Jay. I'll just call him Jay. That's the best way. So that's just hilarious. I mean, that is just hilarious. So you give me a phone and it's a useless phone because there's no slot. There is no slot. And then, and then let me see if I can pull up. I don't think, I think I have. Now this is just some of the, of the, this is just one look of what the, of what we don't stop is going to look like. 
So here's just one look of it. This is not the final look, but you're, you're finally starting to get something here. What I was trying to come up with was a way that it would look really cool on a shirt. And I want to recognize this gentleman, but I don't want to reveal him. So I just want to say thanks to M. I appreciate you, M. And then this morning, my buddy Jim gave me a call and I told him, hey, um, I'm doing some stuff. And then Jim is a big contributor to what we do. And I just want to say thanks to Jim and I appreciate you. And I, thanks to David and, and to Judy and to Pam and uh, not, not, not this Pam, not this Pam. So I just want to say thank you to those people. I'm super grateful. And then have you guys gone by and picked up a trifold? Because um, a lot of people are getting the free trifold that you download and you put free trifold or a lot of people buying the indestructible one, not very many people. So we probably got to get more of those out there as quickly as we can. Just, just get them out. Thank you, Cope Dog. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. So uh, M, he has come up with a really cool design for We Don't Stop. This is coming out. It it's actually doesn't look like this, but this was just the first design where we figured out that we kind of want it. So it has a, thank you, Margaret. So it kind of has a cool look to it. And this is, I, I can't wait. I cannot wait for this to come out. I cannot wait. Yeah, you know, I couldn't understand why they took my SIM card out of my phone to begin with. I can't understand. And so if you guys are, are like I had someone contacted me, A, uh, the letter A, she contacted me and she was, she caught, and she was super interested in, in being in on this app coming out. And it's gonna take some time to build the actual technology. But the cool part is, is that we already have the technologists lined up, which is half of the battle. When you don't have the technologists lined up, that is, CH is free, you guys. CH and, and Ty Audits is out of the jail. Yes, he's out of the dungeon. Congratulations. Make sure that, um, I, wanna, I wanna talk to him later today so I will give his girlfriend a call later. I want to speak to him on the phone. That's exciting, you guys. Make sure you guys go by CH and Ty Audits and, and tell him congratulations. Subscribe to his channel. He took the ride for all of us. You know, what, what happened to that gentleman, Craig, he took the ride for all of us. Because without people willing to go to jail, willing to fight for your rights, if you don't fight for your rights, you don't have any rights. If you don't use your rights, there's no rights you have, period. You have got to fight for your rights. So, uh, and then down the line, I want to thank Adam and I want to thank Danny and I want to thank Shauna and I want to thank Decoy and I want to thank my friends who have just come in and they've just absolute, yeah, I know that. I know it. Uh, I have a SIM tray if you need. I also have uh, developed apps for iOS if you need help. Yeah, um, yeah, we're going to, we're, you know, we're just going to put it up online. I'm going to show you guys the entire wireframes before the app even comes out which isn't really typical in technology. You don't really show anybody what your technology is until it comes out. But as you guys know, I am for 100% total transparency. And so, you know, once we have the wireframes done and we have the technologists lined up and ready to build it, then we just simply raise the cash and do it and put it out there. Because the faster we get to transparency, the faster we get to freedom. And the faster we get to freedom, the faster we get away from dungeons and torture cuffs. And that's really what we're facing is a system that was created to hurt us, a system that was created for, for punishment. And the thing is, is that what we've seen in America, you know, we're only number one in three things. We're number one in military spending, we're number one in prisons, and we're number one in people who believe in angels. And I happen to be one of those people who believe in God. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But we're number one in those three categories. We're not number one in any other categories. I mean, it's just insane what our country has become. And just so you guys know, it's not just here in Ironton. It's not just in the tri-state area. It is in every single city, state, county, town. It's in every borough. It's in every district. It's in every municipality. It has become an absolute nightmare of a system and everybody's being arrested and 90% and of people are afraid. I talked to my friend uh, Eugene yesterday in Ironton. We talked at, I think we talked at two o'clock in the morning. I was doing sprints at 2 a.m. And I said to him, we have to get the people of Ironton united to come out together to fight for your rights. If we don't start it in Ironton and spread it up into the great state of Ohio, how's it gonna spread? You know, do, do you want me to spend my time in other cities? Do you want me to spend my time in Ironton? 
And that's what it boils down to. You know, how, where, do you, where, do you, where do you take a stand? When do you say, you know what? I've had enough. I'm done with this. I'm absolutely fed up. When do you do that? N not me. When do you join me? Uh, my mouth is so dry. I'm so sorry. I've just been awake for too many hours. T Roy's in the house. What's up, T Roy? And then you guys, big shout out to X Factor Law. X Factor Law is one of the guys that I work with, and he just finished a an appeal for the Arizona court. You know, as you guys know, I had court in Tempe, Arizona, and then the crazy commissioner there, named Elizabeth Olson, she practiced law from behind the bench, and then they ruled against me when the when the piggy had not submitted any evidence and the evidence he did submit clearly showed that what I was saying is true. There was no signage up. Yeah, he's working very hard. X Factor Law is working very hard, very hard. So we get to this place where, where I start to question, you know, I understand fear, trust me. I, I've had fear in my life. I've been, a, I've been afraid a few times in my life. And what's happened is now over the past, over the past, I would say two years since George Floyd was murdered and we all got to see that. When do you decide that fear is not going to paralyze you anymore? When do you make that decision? When do you say, I am not afraid and even if I am afraid, I'm gonna go anyway. When do you do that? When do you say, you know, there's, there's someone out there fighting for me and I'm gonna go join that person. When do you do that? When do you take the decision in your head and your heart that you have had enough? When does that happen for you? And what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna hit the streets? Because that's what it's gonna take. You can't sit behind your phone and expect change to happen. It's not gonna happen. You have to hit the streets. You absolutely have to hit the streets. And if you don't hit the streets, nothing's gonna change. Absolutely nothing will change. You have to be willing to stand up for your rights, even if you're not gonna be the tip of the spear, even if you're not gonna take the ride and get arrested, you still have to be there. You gotta be there standing, filming. And let me talk about this too. For the love of God, for the love of God, do not film cops with your phone facing like this and have a conversation with the cop where you can't see his face and you can't see what he's doing. When you film cops, you film them like this and you show them that you're filming them. Do not film cops with your phone pointing at the ground. There's someone I'm helping who sent me videos today and I saw the videos that the person sent me where they told me that the cops were acting like absolutely wild dogs. And I said, I believe you. And then what happened was when I saw the video that they sent me, the videos are of the floorboard. Why in the hell would you film a floorboard? Why would you film a floorboard? And, I, and I'm sorry if I'm coming at you here or you feel like I'm coming at you, but I am a little bit. If you have a First Amendment right to film those filthy pigs, you have a right to film them, so film them. Don't film a cop who pulled you over like this. How you doing, officer? You know, I'm scared to show that I'm filming. Show them that you're filming. Tell them that it goes to your iCloud and you have a First Amendment right to film police. I give you the trifle for free. Hundreds and hundreds of you are taking advantage of it. It's got to be thousands by now. God bless you. I'm, I'm happy you have that as a tool. Now use it. Do not film your floorboard. Do not film hiding it. Put it right out there. Hey, how you doing, officer? I want you to know I really respect police. Oh, I want you to know I, 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 oh, 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 I felt the puke come up. I want you to know that I'm filming you, officer. I'm using my First Amendment right to film you. This goes right up to my iCloud. So if you snatch the phone out of my hand, what will happen is the video will go straight to my iCloud. And you announce it. Do, I'm telling you, do not film the floor. Don't do it. It just, it's so frustrating. It is so frustrating. I'm so afraid that they'll throw T.Y. back in the dungeon on Tuesday. Um, uh, little Susan, I can't, I can't let you know my schedule or where I'm going or when I'm leaving or if I'm coming. I can't let you guys know that. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Remember, and, and let me just say this, and Shauna and I had this talk last night at 4 o'clock in the morning when we were going over how the, the app flowed. You know, I have been betrayed by... So many people, it's absolutely astounding. It, 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 you know, 
And it goes back to what Bobby Law said to me. He said, you know, Jesus had 12 disciples and one of them was named Judas. And so, you know, I, I simply cannot, I, I can't tell people where I'm going, when I'm doing it, and, and, and how I'm getting there. I, I can't do it. So if you would please, don't ask me because I won't tell, just like I won't answer my phone. It, it doesn't matter who you are, you can ask Shauna, I just don't answer my phone. I just can't do it. Because, especially if I don't know the number. If I see that it's Shauna or I see it's Bobby Law or X Factor, T Roy, I'll pick up the phone or you know, Cope Dog, someone that I know and I see all the time, but I can't pick up my phone. I just can't. Because, you know, just so you here, here, here you go. Okay, here's why. Here's why. Here's why I can't answer my phone. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. This is really rich. This is really rich. What's up there, scammer? Dude, NASA report, that story they did on you, it was all truthful. You are low, low, low. What you did at that family's house, walking around the towel on and around kids, that's just creepy right there. You got some serious, serious fucking problems, boy. I do mean boy. Spilling the coffee. You're, you're just going to lie. Oh, it didn't happen. I picked up 10 days syringes, I don't know about that, that could be diabetic because you've got some definite issues and diseases, we'll say. Um, you're just garbage, all the stuff that that truthful woman said that lost her son was murdered and you're wanting money, you're wanting everything from her and other people you scammed and Scam. co-signed for uh, your vehicle. Are you co that stupid? Never mind. <laughs> we know the answer. The world knows the answer. Well, I've asked this question before to you auditors whatever you claim you are what does your future hold honestly what does your future hold like furry potato that guy girl got the guy he's a guy what does he have he's not patrick he's like 20 something years old you guys can never get a real job computer you can't get rid of that on the internet it's there for life you know that that's why you gave those false stupid allegations to Kate on Mass Hole Report. God. And you're doomed. I mean, I would try to get a real job, maybe get a management job at McDonald's. I'm being serious. Just start at the bottom, clean up your act. Stop being a douchebag stuff. Stop being a scammer. Scammer. I mean, you're just a complete loser, creep, possible tweaker, it sounds like. Man. You got issues, boy. Get some help. There is mental health available out there. Get a basic job basic health insurance go to the county get some help boy you need it we know that stuff's truthful it came out of mass hole we saw a documentation we're gathering more it's going to be exposed they already exposed how can you live like this are your parents proud of you i hope you have any offspring i hope and pray you don't have any offspring because they're doomed also you are garbage. Go to church, talk to a counselor, make amends with whoever you wronged. Stick to whatever you say you're gonna do. You got problems, boy. Think about what they said about you on there and ask yourself, did this happen? And yeah, it did. The video stuff, everything. How can you live like that? How can you wake up every day or if you ever sleep because you're a tweaker and how you dirtbag loser tweakers are? Um, I don't know. You just, you're your lost cause. But I do have a little bit of hope that something will sing your head to go get a simple, basic job that's not being scandalous like Josh. Josh is just a, a guy with tits. He's worth his tits on a board, as they say. He's about a dumb fuck motherfucker. All you guys are. What are you going to do for the rest of your life? You're not that old. You got a little potential. You get help. Make amends. Um, I don't want to be too cruel today. It is Sunday after all. So I'm giving you a little, bit of, a little break. And you're lucky. You seem somewhat intelligent. I'll give you that. You probably test fairly well. Some things. I don't know. I just wish I could talk to you in person or on the phone. 
Oh no, that's it. I think there's another one. I think there's another one. Hold on. There is another one. Good job, you losing piece of shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let, let me start this one from the beginning. It's only it's only a little bit. And this is from someone doxing me and giving my number out recently. I have hundreds of phone calls on here. I have hundreds. My voicemail's full because I just didn't want to keep checking the hate mail. So let's listen to it again. Get a job, you losing piece of shit. Got me. Got me on that one. You know, you got me. You stuck me, man. I'm in big trouble. Hey, it's Lawrence, man. I thought it. I'm in big trouble. Got what else do I got in here? What else do I got in here? Hi there. I'm called. Hi there. I got a, I got a couple more in here. I got a real good one in here. You got to hear this good one. You got to hear this. This one is really, really good. I mean, this is this one's top notch. You wait till you hear this one. This is so good. So good. That's not it. Where is it? I can't. Oh. to be put in prison because you know if you come here to do that to my fiance or any of her children well there's not a place on the planet you could hide I know you want to ship all pedophiles to an island and that's great but yeah, my personal belief is is Wait, 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 I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't, I didn't get that pedophile rapist thing. He, did he call me a pedophile and a rapist? I'm, I think he did. Let me, let me, let me get back into that. I just want to hear this part. I was, I, I wasn't really sure what he said and I stopped it. Or if I raped his girlfriend or any of his children. There's not a place on the planet you could hide. I know you want to ship all pedophiles to an island. Well, that's great. But, yeah, my personal belief is, is if you're a pedophile, you're a rapist, you should die. I should die. Whoa. You are useless to society. Useless. So, I'm going to be done at your auction, and you're going to meet me, oh. and I will be packing. Packing. Because I can, because I am a cop. Well, 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 former law enforcement. Oh, he's former. But <laughs> just know that, just know. you know, you tell me to fuck off and all this other shit. I get I, I agree with what you're doing. You should out bad cops. You really should. Oh. I have no, no problem with you doing this. But at the same time, you can't say every cop's a bad cop. Because every I was cop's a cop a bad and cop. I wasn't a bad cop. You were a bad cop. If you broke the law, I put you in jail. Oh, that's a good place. So, you, you do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Is that it? Is that it? Did he say that I should die? I think he said that I should die. Did he say I should die? I thought he said I should die. Is that what he said? Did he say I should die? I think he said I should die. I'm pretty sure he said I should die. I just wanted you to know. jobless, incompetent, criminal, low-life, EBT-using loser. You need your life. You need to get a job with benefits, retirement, something. You are a joke of the world. You are complete trash. Get a job. Come to the military now. You couldn't handle the military. Go work at McDonald's. Oh. Just get a job, you low-life fucking loser. I bet your family's really proud of you, aren't they? Right. Yes. Dude, you are trash. You are garbage. And we know you know that. Get a real job, you fucking vagrant. So now do you know why I don't answer my phone? Do you understand? I mean, is it is it is it apparent to you now? Because I get those all the time because someone just put my number out on the internet. Someone just recently did that. And then I got hun I got the other day I got 
a hundred phone calls. I got a thousand text messages. Um, and so when that happened, you know, at that point, I then called uh, the legal team that 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 so many of us are on, and I said, "Hey, you know what's what you know what what's the what do we do here, and what do you guys think?" And you know, you spitball that idea around, and you find out that. Um, thank you, Shauna. And, and so you you know we kick the idea around, and then we you know I don't want to say what we're doing, but um, we are going to take uh, legal action immediately. Uh, we'll take legal action as soon as Monday. So that's that's just day after tomorrow, because, you know, when people do that to you, you know, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't I wouldn't put you in that position. You know, I don't I don't contact anybody who asked me not to contact them. You know, there are people. So, you know, thank you, Chuck. What I will go and help people and I'll get involved in their case and I'll start to talk to them. And then I start to tell them, you know, what I think I would do. Well, here's what I would do. You can do whatever you'd like. But here's what I would do if I were you. And then I'll even make a video, especially when I was on TikTok, I'll make a video and I'll expose what happened to that person. And then halfway through it, they'll go, I quit. And I'm like, you know, just so you know, to edit a video takes hours and hours to, to do. It takes hours. And that's what I've been working on. Just so you know, there's a two hour video coming out here pretty quick. Hey, how you doing? You have rights. Nice to see you. Um, and I'll work on someone's video or someone's case for hours or even days. And then halfway through the process, they just, they say, I don't want to do it. I'm done with this. I can't do it. I can't be a part of this. I got to get out. You know, I'm, I think they're tracking my boyfriend. I think they're tracking my, my dad. I think they're tracking my sister and they just quit. And I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but I went to Ironton on March 25th, 2022. And since then, not a single confidential informant has been leaked. I talked to dozens of people who I recorded their audio and they asked me, please don't release this. Uh, Johnny in Ironton, you know who you are. You know what your real name is. I called you Johnny before. Johnny did two interviews with me. I spent three hours with this individual. And then he said to me, please don't release my audio. Three hours of my life I sent listening to someone else's tale of just disgusting tyranny and abuse and violence on that person. And then he said, please don't release the audio. And I didn't. He said, don't even release it with the voice synthesized because they'll know it's me. That's the fear. That's the fear that, that you put, you can call me cat. Hey cat, what's up? What's up kitty, kitty, kitty. So, so then what I did when the, when Johnny asked me not to, to put his audio out, I didn't put his audio out. I, I, it, it's your life. It, it's your life. You can choose to live on your knees or die standing on your feet if that's what it takes for you to have your rights. And I have chosen to live on my feet. I refuse to live on my knees. I will not. I will not back down. I will not retreat and I will not surrender under, under any circumstances. And I don't care about, about all of the nonsense that comes with being in the front and leading. And, I'm, and, I, and I've said it and I, and I talked to a friend of mine yesterday on the phone for a couple hours and I, and I said to him, you know, you said that you weren't leading. And I said to him, you are leading. And he said, no, no, I'm not leading. I said, no, no, you are leading. And I'm not afraid to say probably for the first time in my life, I'm leading and I'm not going to stop. What I'm looking for is the, the rest of the spear because the tip of the spear isn't powerful unless you have the weight of the spear behind it. And so that's just what I'm doing. That's, that's just what I'm doing. And, and so that, but now you kind of get a microcosm of the reason why I don't answer my phone. I have no idea if it's going to be someone who's going to call me and tell me about uh, their brother who died or, and I'm not ready for that. Or if it's going to be someone who's going to call me and say how much they hate my guts and they wish that I was dead. I, I just, you know, and I don't know. There's going to be people who, who pretend as though they're a friend and then later they will just say bad things about me publicly and I never knew we were in a fight. I had no idea we were in a fight. I had no idea. Last time I saw you, we had lunch together. It was a nice time. Last time I talked to you on the phone, you said, hey man, take care of yourself, brother. Watch your back out there in Ironton. And then the next thing I know, people make a video about me and say what a terrible person I am.
Uh, you know, one of the per pe hey, how you doing, Archangel? Uh, one of the people who was one of the supporters here on this channel the other day said, you know, I saw a video about you and I've changed my mind. I think you're terrible. And he started to put horrible things in the chat. Okay, okay, I guess I'm terrible. Where, but where's where's the where are the victims? Where where are the victims? Where are they? Where where are the victims that I've created? You know, and 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 uh, Shauna, make sure that you get screenshots. That's going to be super important moving forward, as you know. Make sure that you get screenshots, especially if they say particular things. Make sure that you get screenshots. It's super. Thank you, Cope Dog. I appreciate that. Swing by there and pick up a trifold. You guys go to deletelaws.com. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I was going to spend just an hour with you guys today and, and talk about these, these things that are going on, especially about the app coming out. If, if you are interested in technology, I will be putting up a fundraiser to raise the money to pay for the app. Guess what? I'm going to be raising more money. All the jealous people, I'm going to raise more money. And then, by the way, the people who come in on this app, woo! it's going to be amazing because what we do, there's no censorship. Because as you guys know, any, any of the uh, activists out there, you know that you can't put a video up on certain platforms or your video will get taken down and you'll get in trouble. You might get suspended. You might get a, uh, some sort of penalization on all different kinds. Yeah, uh, mods, get a screenshot. Make sure you get a screenshot because we're looking for specific things. It's really important. It's really important that we get screenshots because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all moderators, make sure if someone says anything um, and they, they say anything, get a screenshot of it and then send them packing because we need that for the legal action we're taking. You know, And, and I'm not going to go into great detail about it. I'm just going to make sure that, that I, I, I dot my I's and cross my T's and, and, I'm, and I'm just going to take legal action because you're not allowed to do the things, some of these things that are going on. It's just, it's, it's, it's fundamentally un-American and it's wrong. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do. That's, that's what I'm going to do. So then did you guys have, has anybody here not joined the Facebook or the Twitter? Because I want to make sure that we do. So this is the, this is the delete laws, tri-state cop videos. Make sure, hey, Michael, good morning. How are you, buddy? Make sure that you guys go to the Delete Laws Tri-State Cop videos. Make sure everybody joins that page if you would, please. I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. I want to get more people in there. You know, I want to make sure I get as many people as I possibly can to the Delete Laws Tri-State Cop videos and post more cop videos. I actually posted a video this morning of a man being killed in his own backyard because he just walked outside. He just walked outside. I mean, he was black. So, you know what I'm saying? If a cop sees a guy and he's black, well, you know. I mean, since the beginning of our country, black lives have not mattered. That's why they get the frame Black Lives Matter. And then the crappy part is the organization of Black Lives Matter is garbage. But black lives do matter. And I support Black Lives Mattering 1,000%. But he was a black guy, and he walked out the door, and the cops said, show me your hands. I would, I would show you the video, but I don't want to pull it up. And plus, I don't want this, I don't want this, uh, this to be, they, 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 they suspend, they, they demonetize all my videos. I'm not sure if you guys know that or not. That's why we don't make very much income on that. And then will you do me a favor? Make sure you guys go over to the Twitter page and follow the Twitter page. And I promise I am going to start tweeting. I just have not done it yet. I've tweeted out a couple of videos. I've tweeted out a couple of videos. If you would, please go by Delete Laws Twitter page. It's just, just exactly how the YouTube is spelled. Delete Laws and make sure you guys go over there. And then if you guys are, oh, um, would you get a screenshot, please? Shauna, I would appreciate that. Uh, make sure you get a screenshot right there. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks. I, can't, I don't know if I want to do it on my phone right now. Um, thank you, Cope Dog. I appreciate that. So now you got that? Cool. There you go. So now I think we're at a hundred and something followers now. And uh, uh, my buddy Brian from High Impact Flicks, he followed us yesterday. So I followed him back. Appreciate you, Brian, over there. Here's the deal. High Impact Flicks, uh, DPN, Accountability for All, ASD Docs, Lackluster. Those channels are my favorite channels that I watch all the time uh, when I can because I'm super, super busy. And then if you guys are just getting here, make sure that when you come and you comment on any, if you, if you, if you comment on a video, 
make sure that before you leave your comment, you put a timestamp, no matter what the timestamp is, because you'll put a timestamp and the, uh, there'll be a comment that says, you're crazy, I don't agree with that at all. Which part of the hour long lecture didn't you agree with? I have no idea. I don't agree with you at all, I think that's stupid. What is, which part? Because I read the comments as much as I can when I'm not doing stuff or trying to help someone who got, who got killed by the police, you know? Uh, and by the way, the video that where the black guy gets healed, the cop comes around the corner and says, put your hands up. He puts his hands up, cop shoots him. I swear, I swear it's on my community. Go to community and delete laws. It's also on my Facebook page. If, if someone will share that over to delete laws, tri-state cop videos, I can't post on the group and I can't post either account. They're both blocked because um, if you go on any of the, anybody else's group and you comment, then the people in that group mass report your comment and then you're suspended. You're suspended. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Um, Marxist support? What does that mean? Marxist support? No, I'm not for communism or socialism. I'm actually for rule of law. So if you guys have heard things about transparency, if you guys have heard things about transparency, make sure when you leave a comment, put a timestamp. It only takes a second. And this is for all channels, not just mine. Make sure you put a timestamp, no matter if it's at right when the video starts, put zero dot colon, 04 and then leave your comment so that we know what you're talking about. We know what you're talking about. That's what a, what a horrible username. I mean, oof, it is what it is. It is what it is. And so um, the guy, I'm going to go back to the guy that got shot. He, he walks out of his house and uh, thank you. I appreciate the, and I'll follow you back. Anybody else from following me back, just, just, just let me know on Twitter. I'm, I'm going to try to spend more time uh, than you think. Uh, I'm closer than you think. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But if you run into me, you might run into me, Smith, and Wesson. So just to let you know. And my Smith and Wesson sitting right there. It's actually not a Smith and Wesson, but it's a line from uh, Dirty Harry. So I think it's always funny. <laughs> so this guy, he, they're not even, the cops are not even looking for him. They're not even looking for this guy. And they're just going through a neighborhood. They pass by a guy's house. He comes out the back door of his house. He's a black guy. And then he, the, the, the cops go, what are you doing? And then he says, he's put your hands up. The guy puts his hands up and the cop shoots him. He puts his hands up and they shoot him. <laughs> oh, they are. Is that right? Shauna, they're talking about you. I don't know. I can't keep up with all the comments. It's like, you know, it's, but, but um, oh, you know, 320 people. Let me know where you guys are from, just so I can kind of get a barometer how many people are from Ironton, how many people are here. And we do have the new t-shirts coming in about a week, in about a week, maybe 10 days or so, but we're gonna have this new uh, t-shirts coming out. It's really cool. And the police body cam video. That's, uh, Deborah, can you send that to me? Can you send me that link? Uh, just so you guys know, Deborah right here, uh, Deborah Rogers, Deborah, drop the name of your YouTube channel so that everybody can follow your YouTube channel. All 300 people, if you guys would subscribe to Deborah Rogers, I think, are you out of Oklahoma? I think, is that Oklahoma? Um, I think that you are at Oklahoma, if I remember quite correctly. And she was abused by the police. They destroyed her shoulder. They injured her. And then she called me to help her file a civil rights lawsuit. But at that time in December, I was going through absolute hell. I had been going, going through cancel culture. And that's why I don't get so wrapped up in the trolls now because I had already, I've already been through cancel culture. I've already experienced it. And so, you know, thousands of people telling me I'm a racist. It was incredible because I don't support BLM. I support Black Lives Mattering, but not the organization of BLM because they're for communism and I'm not. So, so I don't support that and I don't support critical race theory either. So, and I've been very open about that with everybody as much as I possibly can uh, because I'm not trying to offend anybody, but those organizations and the, that theory is just garbage. It, it's just garbage. And so I've been very open about it, you know. Um, yeah, but, but see, Zach, this isn't the place to try to debate a man when I'm sitting here speaking and people are trying to follow along with what I'm saying. And um, um, I wouldn't debate uh, uh, James Freeman or Brian. They're my friends. I would, I mean, I, actually, I've never met James. He has been my favorite auditor for a couple years, uh, just right behind DPN. Uh, right next to DPN, uh, DPN and, and uh, Josh from Accountability for All. I mean, Josh from Accountability for All is a beast. I mean, look, you can judge people for what they've done in their past or what, the, what they were arrested for or charged for. I choose not to do that. 
I choose to let people go through their process and go through rehabilitation and get their rights back and become a functioning member of society. And so people who, who hack people who've been to jail or arrested, I just think to myself, you know, who are you? What makes you better than anybody else? You know, everybody can get in trouble. Everybody can, especially in America, you can get arrested for anything. And then as you know, um, uh, did James Freeman call me a status? Okay, that's cool. He can call me a status. I mean, what am I going to say? I don't know the guy. I've never met him. I don't know him. I, I really just loved his audits my, the entire time I've ever seen him. So I have nothing negative to say about him. If he called me a statist, okay. You know, what, what am I going to say? You know, um, it's, it's, it's one thing to try to change the policing system. And it shouldn't be called policing. It should be called rights protectors. It's another thing to change the entire system the entire system. And that, I feel like, and that's the conversation that I had yesterday with a friend and I said, I just don't think that we're gonna get to a, a new system of, of governance, you know? It's a statist, Nikki, uh, a statist um, um, cat. I think you said to call you cat, uh, a statist. A statist is someone who is, oh, there's there's Deborah's channel, everybody. Make sure you go and subscribe to, 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 to um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he called me a status. Remember, there's people who want to divide. There's pe I don't know if he said anything. I've never heard him say anything. So I don't know. You know, uh, would I be surprised? No. At the same time, would I be surprised if people were trying to divide us? No. No. Trying to cause a rift. So if you guys uh, uh, report to James Freeman, you said uh, Chili said that he you're his favorite auditor. He is. He is. I mean, I, I actually have a different perspective on it now because I'm in the field and I go out and I address police. I go right at them and I explain to them what our rights are. So I do it a little bit different than James Freeman, but big respect to the guy. I got nothing but respect and admiration for James. I don't know what he said or what he didn't say. I don't know. I, hey, hey, James, I believe you, dude, but I'm not gonna have a divide with someone who I just respect. If he thinks I'm a statist, okay, cool. You know, I love uh, uh, Am Amagon Set. I love, I love, I love that channel. I've always loved that channel. It's one of my favorite channels. You know, you guys aren't going to really get me to to go against people who who go out and and are activists. I, you know, even if even if they say things about me, you know, what what am I going to do about it? You know, I don't know these people. I don't know any of these people. So, you know, what could I possibly do? Oh, you just sub. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You guys take your finger right there and hit the like button. Just take your finger and go right down there and just go doop. Just, just take your finger and touch that like button down there. Let me grab my water. I don't think you are woken. I do appreciate you telling me the information. I do believe you. Uh, Long Island Audits, one of my... Uh, um, I would say that maybe Long Island Audits has surpassed everybody else in my mind. I think Long Island Audits is, is, is ahead of the game as far as auditing goes. I think he's clearly one of the best auditors we've ever seen. Long Island Audits has taken it. He does the same thing similar to what I do where I file legal paperwork, legal action against people who violate my rights. And so I just think that he is Angry Fishing. Oh, is that Angry Fishing or Angry Fisherman? Uh, is that the same channel that I watch, Angry Fishing? I'm not sure if it's the same channel that I watch. Is it the Angry Fisherman that I watch? I'm not sure. Hey, Zach, good to see you, brother. I I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh... thank you, Robert. Thank you, I appreciate it. It says they allowed a murder of my fiance two years ago, but the woman that hit and run told him he chose to get high and they let the couple go. I'll take it to the news and I'll make a law fighting for justice. Ash, do you have a video? If you could send me a video. In today's world, I don't know what happened to Amagant Press. I don't know. I really love the channel. Um, I don't know. I can't get involved in all that stuff. So if you guys have, if you guys gone to the channel and stuff, so listen, get ready because the armed fishermen, that's the one I watch all the time. So get ready because this new technology for activists is an absolute game changer. When Shauna and I laid it out today and we laid it out this morning at four o'clock in the morning, let me tell you something. It's even better than I thought. It's even better than I thought. And, and I'm just, so, hey, is that, is that uh, Tim Lyons? Is that Jessup? Is he in here? Um, I'm sorry. Is this just going to be a wild stream of consciousness live stream? I was really hoping to learn something about the transparency app. Um, so I want to get it into wireframes. 
I want to get so the transparency app is a new app for activists who go out and film cops and it also ties together persons of justice guys who support me girls who support me women who support me um, so like David and Alan and Luis and Pamela and Judy and Adam and the people who support activists it connects them in a bigger way because what you always hear about on this chain on, on different channels you Oh, is, is that Alec? So, so what you hear about all the time is how there's a community. Hey, in this community, and I haven't really, um, I don't really see it that way. I see it as we are the same, you and I. It, you know, you're one of my supporters, and I'm, and I, and I'm the tip of the spear. So the way I see it is, we're more connected than anything. We are more connected than anything. The people who support activists want to be more involved. They want to have a bigger role because they can't go out. They cannot get arrested. They can't. They have a wife. They have kids. Hey, Ash, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. It's really great. Um, you know, they, they can't do what I do because the life they have. And I'm fighting to have that life that they have. I'm fighting for them. I'm standing up for your rights. You know, and that's the thing about Ironton folks. When, when you see me out, come join me. Bring your camera, hold it up tall, and come and join me. You know, so it's like, so, um, so the way it works is it breaks down. I'll, get, I'll answer some questions without going into details of the app. The way it works is it splits the, the, the user base into two different parts. It's activists and POJs, persons of justice. And what happens from there is it, now there's a way to keep up with auditors who could be in your area or maybe out of your area, and then you get to see and watch them live in their audit. But more importantly, and here's the most important part, if you get arrested and you are in the middle of activism, what the transparency app does is make sure that not only the people who are watching, everybody finds out. It puts out a red light alert to every member of the app, both persons of justice and activists. It changes the game. It is incredible. I mean, laying it out today. I, I mean, sh I mean, Shauna. Just so you know, Shauna was bouncing up and down, going, "Yes, yes, yes, yes," because it is just so excited. Um. Yeah. Um. I think. Uh. I. I don't. I don't think very highly of one of those people. Um. And it's not who you would think. It's someone from California. I don't think very highly of that person because uh, uh, for a lot of reasons, but I'm not going to go into negativity. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, Direct D used to be one of my favorite auditors. I used to love to watch Direct D, really. Uh, uh, you know, I used to really enjoy that. Rights, uh, Rights Crispy, I, I, I like some of the audits I've seen from, from Rights Crispy as well. Um, so it's like, but I'm just telling you and I'm being, I'm being, so honest, when you guys see what Transparency App does, you know, when you, and, and I'm sorry I got lost because I got lost in the comments. I'll try not, let me just put them invisible here for a second. Um, okay, so when you guys see what Transparency App actually does, it really does create a community. And I've heard that term from other people who then turn around and backstab me. I've heard the term in this community. Well, a community is a group of people who have the same wants and desires and needs for their group, for their community. That's what a community is. I mean, think about it like a neighborhood. The reason why it's called a community is because everybody there wants the speed limit to be respected in that community because they have kids playing outside, playing hopscotch in the street. I played football and baseball and everything right in the street. And then we'd say, game on, as soon as the car would pass. And as soon as the car would come in, we'd go, game off, right? That's what a community is. And what would happen is the neighbors across the street would be looking out for us kids. And then my parents would be looking out for the kids. And then the guy down the street would be looking out for the kids. He didn't have any kids. And then a truck could go barreling through the neighborhood at 75 miles an hour. And the guy from the street who doesn't have any kids came out into the street one day, put his finger out, and I saw him do it. And I mimicked it later in life. I saw him do it when I was 10, and I role modeled it later. I did the exact same thing. He came out in the street when that truck went down there at 75. He walked right on the street, put his finger out, and said, you, 
don't you ever drive that fast. And so when that happened with my nephews and niece, when they were 10, I did the same thing. I walked out in the street and I went to the car. I stood right in front of the car and I put my finger and I said, don't you ever drive like, cause I don't, I don't yell. So I, I just said, don't you ever drive like that? You know, and I just kind of went off on the guy, but that's what a community is. A community, everybody has the same wants. Everybody has the same desire. And so if you want to be a part of a community of activism, then you have to be for change. This system isn't going to work. This is dog poo. This is dog poo. This is total garbage. And so if in any way you're going to slight or hack or belittle another person, well, they, they must have had a victim. Or then why are you, why are you hacking them? And so, you know, it's, you know I, I got an ego. You guys know that. I got a chip on my shoulder. And so, you know, I'm just being, I'm just being human with you guys. You know, I'm just being honest. I can't say that things don't affect me of when I watch someone who I respect and admire and they, they say negative things about me. You know, I don't know if, if some of the things they say are, I don't understand. I don't, I, I told Shauna that earlier. I don't understand. I can't figure it out. It is what it is, I guess. So that's what a community is though. And, and the, by the way, and so you can say that this group of activists on YouTube or on TikTok or on Instagram who go out and they film cops and they, and they flex your rights by filming libraries or whatever they're gonna film, post offices, it doesn't matter, flex your rights or lose your rights. And so that's one community, right? Or supposed to be. But there's a much, much bigger community when you include the persons of justice who pitch into that cash app, who pitch into the PayPal, the GoFundMe, who pitch into the super chat so that you don't have to live in a dungeon. That is the community that we're creating with Transparency App when we tie together activists and persons of justice who want to support them, who want to be a bigger part of that. Like my buddy Jim up in the north. My buddy Jim called me this morning and he said, hey, Chili, I haven't talked to you in a while, but I just wanted to contribute a little bit today. Out of the blue, just called me up and I said, I just want to contribute a little bit today. And I was like, dude, you know what? You actually made my millennial because I have to do this and I have to do that. And so, you know, that's what Transparency App actually does. It ties together the, the persons of justice who support us and the activist who hits the streets and takes on this police state, prison state, death state, rape cage, torture cuff system. And that's, the, and that's what Transparency App does. And it does it in the most beautiful way, in the most beautiful way. And if, by the way, if you're gonna be on Transparency App and then I'll turn the comments back on and I'll take a couple of your comments and then I'm at 60 minutes, so I do gotta get out of here in about five minutes. But um, if you're gonna be a part of the Transparency App, you have to be a verified member. We verify you. We verify you. There's lots of ways to verify you, but you also have to have at least two of the three pay apps. You have to have the pay apps, especially if you're an activist, especially if you're a person of justice, or you know, the idea is that we're not gonna leave you in a dungeon. That's the whole idea. No matter who you are or where you are, people don't even have to be around you, but the transparency app tells us if you got arrested. And that's always the question. And by the way, make sure you guys go over to uh, CH and Ty Audits. He got out of jail today and I've already committed to him to helping him do paperwork because I can't represent him legally. And now I'll turn the chat back on. Okay, chat's back on. Chuck Bronson, is that Chuck? Oh, Chuck P, sorry, that's not Chuck Bronson. Yeah, I will call you Chuck, actually, I will call you. Um, um, no, Seuss, not to donate money to me, to donate anybody who goes to jail, Seuss, to donate people who go to jail. And also to support them, much like how they do here on YouTube where they do the super chats, but we do it a little bit different. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have anything negative to say about anybody, man. I just, I just don't, you know. I, I don't know people who talk bad about me. I've never met them. So, you know, you know. I, I, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to get into it anymore. Uh, uh, there has been some people who have crossed, hey, Paul's a supporter. Thank you, Paul. There have been some people who crossed the line as of late. And so we are moving into legal action. That's, that's what's happening. I, as I told you, if you decide to play games with me, I'll sue you. You, you. you can do whatever you want and some people won't step up. You know, by the way, nobody from the auction called me and said that was my car. One person called me, said it was my car that got stolen. And then I said, let's follow up follow conference. And we never talked again. So there was only one person. I couldn't get someone to step up. Um, 
I don't, I don't really consider myself to be like Trump because I would never have banned bump stocks. I never would have said that we're gonna take the guns and then give you due process. I never would have said those things. So I don't align myself with Trump in that way because uh, I, I believe that, that you should get due process of law and that every single gun law, those two words just don't work together, gun and law, they don't work together. This doesn't work. And so, so I don't understand why that is. And if you, if you understand how I feel about removing all gun laws, then you would know that I absolutely don't align with, uh, with Trump in that regard, especially, you know. Well, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And so just so you guys know, um, Okay, Barry, that's cool, man. You have your position, I have mine. Uh, shall not be infringed is pretty clear as far as I'm concerned. And just so you know, this goes back to the 1911 Sullivan Act out of New York. And what happened in 1911 was, uh, thanks, Mike D. What happened to, uh, in 1911 is that you had uh, black people moving out of the South, out of rural America, because it was the worst time period of lynchings for black people right there in the 1890s and the early 1900s. And so they moved into New York City, they moved into uh, Chicago, Baltimore, they moved into the, into the more populous cities hoping to escape being lynched. And then what happened was Governor Tim Sullivan of New York passed the Sullivan Act that said that you had to get your gun rights from the president of the police bureau. You had to sign, the president of the police bureau had to sign for your gun, and by the way, just so you know, guess whose name was on that list of 25,000 gun licenses that were going out pre in advance, 25,000. His name was Donald Trump Sr. It was Donald Trump's great grandfather who was on the list for the Sullivan Act in 1911 in New York City. And that, just so you know, that is still the law today that you, for you to have a concealed carry license, you have to get your gun rights from the president of the police bureau or the state attorney general, who is the top cop in that state. Remember, the attorney general is the number one cop in every state. So the state attorney general for Alabama is the number one cop. The state attorney general for Alaska is the number one cop. You know, just like the president of the United States is the commander in chief of the military. It's the same thing, uh, similar in being the executive of those things. So yeah, um, and then by the way, you know, Angel, uh, Archangel, I saw someone had uh, mimicked your profile yesterday. I'm not sure if you saw that. I agree with you. I, I, well, New Hampshire says live free or die. That's on the license plate. And just so you know, I flew up to New Hampshire in 2012 and, um, oh, Barry, were the, I, are you born in 74, Barry? I was born in 74, Barry. I was born in 1974. You know, but, but I don't want to be trolled, brother. You know what I'm saying? We had the discussion. You know, we had it. You, you told me your position. I read it. You know, and then you said I don't have any idea what 2A means. I think I do. You know, you're, you know, you're welcome to come back in in five minutes when you've calmed down a little bit. And, you know, you're seems like you're trigger trolling, tro trolling, trigger, tro trigger, tro troll, trigger, trigger, total, trigger. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha ha, the, co the, co the covert narcissist in comments. Why are you even here? Because you're a fan. Hate what he says because he's right for his views. Well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. That's really nice. I, I, I appreciate the nice things. Good to see you, Tim Lyons. Man, uh, Tim, Tim and I talked on the phone this last week or so, and um, you know we got to really reconnect because when, when I was in Ironton the last time, you know I was really going through a lot of things with with the with the town and the and the the powers that be in that town and i just didn't have any time or any patience and i was super happy that tim and i got to connect when i was over in uh toledo we talked on the phone oh i'm sorry when i was over in west virginia because i went over to west virginia for a little while i wanted to check out that area and i did remember i don't know anything about this area right around the tri-state area I, I don't know about that. I've never spent any time here. I was raised in Alaska, and then I went to school on the West Coast in, in uh, Oregon and in, Calif and in Arizona. And then I've lived in uh, California for the past 20 years. <clears throat> did I ever take care of the charges in California, or did you just flee the state until they expired? Um, hey, Tuff, where, where, what are you talking about? Can you, can you help me out, Tuff? I mean, what, Tuff Jiggly, can you just tell me what you're talking about? What, flee what charges, dude? Like, I, I just want to know what you, what you mean. Don't, don't put him in timeout or suspend him. I want to know what Tuff's talking about. What, flee what charges in California? 
And what, and where'd you get that information? I'm just curious as to what you're talking, flee the charges in California. I'm really curious as to, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of fake information going around about me. So I don't know what he's talking about. What, what do you mean flee the charges in California? I'll answer your question. I just don't know what really what you're talking about. You know, I mean, I'm more than willing to answer. Um, are we percent owners? No, no, you are percent owners. I'm selling half of the app, uh, the Navid Johnson Foundation. Yeah, I'm selling. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Tough. So if you would just come back in and let me know what you're talking Flee the charges in California? I don't know what charges you're talking about. I'm just confused. So, and where would you get information that I had charges in California? Remember, there's a bunch of fake stuff going around. It's incredible. You know, and, and so I just want to know where you got that information. I don't know. I mean, is it just trolls? Is that what it is? <laughs> Romer, when you pass sobriety test points. Yeah, I wouldn't trust mental health screening either. As soon as you sign up for mental health screening, then, you know, who decides if you're crazy or not? You know, it's almost like when you take a DUI test and they want you to walk in a straight line and touch your nose and, you know, seeing Alabama or whatever, then all of a sudden, you know, the cop is the subjective witness and uh, supposed to, well, he is the subjective witness. He's not the objective witness because anytime two people are interacting, they're both subjects of the same scene. To be objective, there's a couple traffic violations that you never took care of currently looking for the case number. Oh, in 2020, when I got ticket in California? Oh, tough. Uh, so yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I got a ticket in California, and then my mother had a stroke in 2020. And ironically, um, what he's talking about is I got a speeding ticket in California. He's not talking about me, but you, that's not what you said, Tough. What you said is I was fleeing charges in California. Where'd you get that information that I was fleeing charges? I mean, just can you answer that? Or are you going to, I mean, do people have to wait all day for you to type? Maybe you're not a very good typer. I don't know. But I did get a speeding ticket in California that I couldn't go to court for. I had to leave immediately when my mother had a stroke. My mother had a stroke uh, on, a, on a Tuesday, and I was there by Wednesday afternoon. So I, I, uh, I missed my court date. Yeah. Yeah. And then I had to pay a big fee for that, by the way. I had to pay, uh, I think it was uh, um, X Factor uh, did all the legwork on that, X Factor Law. So, um, yeah, I had to pay like, I think it was $550 or $600 or something like that because I left and I spent the next two months with my mom uh, helping her re rehabilitate. And we walked around the block and, you know, I just, I, just, I just tried to spend as much time as I could with my mom at that time because, as you know, typically, a lot of times, not typically, but a lot of times when someone has a stroke, they die. Um, it's just hard to say that. But she didn't, by the way. She didn't. They caught her stroke perfectly. She didn't have any bleeding on the brain. She didn't have um, brain damage. And so, um, oh, no. No, I said some family members, Tough. I thought you said, Ironton, your family didn't like you and you hadn't seen them in years. No, that's not true at all. I said there's some members, a couple members of my family who I do miss and I love that don't talk to me anymore because of my stance on police. But no, my family and I are still very tight. I don't know. But you know, it's got, I mean, I, you know, tough. I understand. I don't know how you even heard about my channel. I don't even know what you're doing here. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I don't know what you're doing here, dude. Like, I mean, the, isn't there other channels you, you can go to that you're going to enjoy yourself and let these folks have a talk about the technology coming out and what we're doing over here? You know, I mean, I don't know you, dude. You weren't real disrespectful when you said it. You did say that I fled charges in California, and that's completely misleading. And I didn't flee any charges in California. That's just not true. So, you know, that's, that's fundamentally untrue. And so what you're doing is painting me in a negative light. And that's, that's not fair, tough, you know what I mean? To say that I fled charges, you know, it's just not true. So, so what the app does is it makes it so that you can't, if you are arrested and you're an activist, that you don't even have to use the phone at the jail. Do you know that? If you are a member of Transparency and you get arrested, you don't even gotta use, no bail bondsman, you don't have to call anybody. You're gonna be out of there within an hour. 
I mean, it, it's so amazing. It is a total game changer. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Shauna. I laid it out for her over the phone tonight. It took me, I worked last night from, well, I haven't slept yet. So I went, I haven't slept since, what time is it? 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m.? It's 10.52. So I woke up yesterday at uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. So I haven't, I haven't slept in... Um, 27 hours or something like that. That's why my mouth's so dry. I can't stop it from being dry. Nothing I can do about it. But I mean, I, you know, I guess Tough's not, he's just gonna, he was just trolling. He just heard some bad things about me on another channel that I fled California from charges. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know. Um, that's the whole thing, Tough, is that um, when you are a member of Transparency, then persons of justice can also join Transparency and they get to watch your audit live. They get to watch your activism live. And then if you go to jail, I don't wanna get into the details of the app, but when you go to jail, everybody can see it, you know? Um, yeah, Deborah, we, 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 we probably will keep 50. Uh, and there's, oh yeah, Shauna, there's no more censorship. When you have a profile as an activist and you put your videos up on transparency, there's no limit. There, you don't have to hide what you saw. You get to actually show everything. I mean, Tuff's trolling, but he doesn't know me. You know, He's heard information from people that are telling him lies. I mean, obviously he came here and said, I fled charges in California. You know, uh, you know. yeah, the phone can be turned off, Tuff. What, I, I can't go into detail, you know, but... Um, um, Okay, probably the probably the wrong room for that, brother. You know, we're talking about actual things here. We're not talking about, you know, drug abuse here. We're talking about actual things. But I'm really excited to share this with you. I'm really excited. I want to get the wireframes done before that. And I did have a, a, a woman contact me the other day, and she's a, an angel investor, and she said she wanted to come in early. So, you know, it is what it is. It, I mean, listen, you know, listen, you're going to have people who come here who are sent here from somebody else who come here to harass, who come here to be a nuisance. And those are important words that we use the right words because a nuisance is a legal term. When you are a nuisance, that's, a, that's an actual legal definition. And you guys can look that up in uh, Black's Dictionary. So, yeah, yep. I didn't kick him out, I put him in timeout. I put him in timeout. I could take him out of timeout. Do you think, do you think it was unfair? Do you think it was unfair? Let me, let me take him out of timeout. Oh, I can't. I can't take him out. Hey, Naven, if you were just being a smartass and having fun, I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm, I'm a little thin-skinned because I have so much, you know, negativity and hatred coming toward me. And so I just, you know, it is what it is. You know, the mission is still the same. It doesn't change anything. Nothing changes because we don't stop under any circumstances, under any conditions. And we just have to be strong. We have to be super, super strong. We have to push through the hatred that's going to come at us. We have to push through um, the things that are that 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 are going to come, and we have to always just be ready to take it on. You know, you can see that that, that what's happening. You know, okay, tough. Um, I, it's kind of a. I mean, uh, all right, all right. All right, okay. So anyway, listen, I've been on for 78 minutes. Uh, and then let me just do one more quick run through on this because there's 350 people in the room. I wanna make sure that everybody knows the, the things that, that I've requested from everybody. If you would please, and let me just walk through this again just one more time real quick and then I will jump off here because I do have other things that I've gotta get done today. So number one, if you do come to the page, so just so you know, this has been a 78 minute discussion. And so right here, if you're going to leave a comment, if you would, please put your timestamp first, just, just put the time, whatever time it is, the colon, you know, one hour, some colon 22 colon 45 seconds. And then what that does is that helps me to go and look at your, look at what was said there. So that if you say something, then I can, I can actually address you, you know, I, I yeah, four <laughs> 
Um, Barry, I'm not going to go into detail on this on this particular uh, live. I've already said that to you. I've gone as deep as I'm going to go, and and it's just going to be uh, something that you're going to have to see on your own. <laughs> when I'm ready to share it completely and put out the the fundraising apparatus, and then make sure you guys go to the Twitter page, delete laws, if you would please. Make sure you guys go to the Twitter page. Oh, you do, Barry. Well, I, I, Barry, you got to understand, man. I got a lot of hatred coming in, so. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know who you, I don't know. I don't know who you are, dude. I've never seen you in the room before, and I recognize most people in the room. I'm pretty good uh, with with my memory. So make sure you guys go there. And then um, we do have the uh, the We Don't Stop shirts coming out. Okay. Okay, Barry. Yeah. Let me send you packing. So so the We Don't Stop shirts are coming out. We don't stop, and it says delete laws on the back. It says overturn Terry versus Ohio. And then uh, that's coming out. And by the way, the design is really, really cool. And then uh, make sure that you guys go to the tri-state, delete laws, tri-state cop videos. Make sure you guys join that page on Facebook. We have to try to spread the social media across as far as we can, as far as we can, you know. Yeah, I mean, until we have total transparency, we're just going to have, we're just going to have problems. You know, how you doing, Paul? Good to see you. Good to see you, Tim. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, I understand that you don't do socials, man. I do appreciate you coming here, though. I'm grateful. So, yeah, Barry, Barry, you know, I, you know, I, uh, remember, when people come here, they don't have any idea what we do and what our real mission is and what our goal is. Um, so then there's that. And then what was the last thing? You guys got to hear the voicemails. I, I don't answer my phone. So, um, Zach, you can say what you want, man. I, I, if you haven't noticed, I, I, I just want to have a, a back and forth and have a little bit of respect, you know. I mean, Tuff came in here with, with all these. He came in and said that, you know, did I, did I flee my charges in California? My mother had a stroke. I missed court. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And then my mom and I walked around the block, and we put in lots of miles walking around the block as she rehabilitated. So, yeah, you know, I'd do it again. I would have missed court every time. Matter of fact, just so you guys know, I didn't even remember that I had court. As soon as my mom had a stroke, everything cleared, and I just went straight to Alaska to go help my mom get better. So, you know, do I feel bad about missing court? Nope, not one bit. I had to pay for it. I had to pay 550 bucks. I think I, I $645. That's how much it was. It was 645 bucks. Sorry about that. I know this because I keep, um, I keep uh, the receipt in my car because you never know how these uh, courts are. They, uh, they'll, they'll just forget to put on there that you paid. And then you don't have a license, you have a warrant. But actually, X Factor Law, if you guys aren't following X Factor Law, um, he's the one that got on the phone with California and he really helped me make sure that my license was okay because I did miss the court date and I did get a ticket. I actually would have fought the ticket, but I wasn't here and I missed the court date. And by the time, just so you know, I got back to California I was back in Cali for almost a year. I had, I had already left California when I found out that I didn't have a license. And so we paid the fine immediately and then we called the DMV and we made sure that my license was, was active. So that was, a, that was a big deal, by the way, because I was in Arizona. Yay, here's the deal. Oh, let me, let me, here's the deals in the room, you guys. Make sure everybody goes over there and, and subscribe to Here's the Deal, uh, one of the best channels there, there is on all of hey uh brian did you get the email did you get the email did you take a look at at transparency app Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh, transparency app is absolutely so exciting i cannot wait to unveil this you guys make sure you guys go over to here's the deal and subscribe to this man's channel he is a thought leader in our culture and uh brian what i tell you yesterday on the phone i had maybe maybe five or six people in here who who were trying to trying to divide us. I told you this yesterday on the phone. I said, they'll do absolutely everything to divide anybody who connects and is friends. And so it's like, and it's, it's, it's ubiquitous too. It's not just with me, it's with everybody. You know, I, I know there's people in the world who just want to antagonize other people so that they can, oh, and Brian, one more thing. I don't have the veins in my stomach right now. I'm, I'm a little bit, I still got a little bit of, of, a, of a little poochie poochie belly right here from the time I spent in Dallas at uh, Unez's where I ate too much. And, and so I, I worked out last night and I just crushed it. And I, I think I worked out 
what time was that? 2.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, make sure you guys, everybody go over and subscribe to Here's the Deal. What a, what a, what a mensch of a dude. And, and then last night, Brian, I pulled up my shirt to see if I still had the veins in my stomach, and I don't. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm, as you know, I won't show myself shirtless. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I mean, I, I think that it's gonna take another, I'd say two weeks, because when you eat all that bread and all that sugar that I was loving in Dallas, it's just as simple as, you know, <laughs> you know, it, 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 you know, I'm 47 years old. So it, it takes a, a week or two, maybe a month probably to really get the leanness back, to get the tightness back. And then I actually went into detail yesterday and we talked about dieting and all kinds of stuff. It was really, really great. It was really, really great. So you guys can look forward to that coming out, you know, the, the transparency app. As soon as we have the wireframes done, I don't know if I'm going to do a, um, what I want to do is I want to, I don't just want to raise money and people donate. I want the people who come in on the application to be owners of the app. I want them to own a percentage of the app. That's what I'd like because the app is going to have a real revenue stream to it. And I want to make sure people who come in get a piece of that revenue. And as you guys know, you could talk to my friend David Condon, which by the way, <laughs> you want to hear something funny? The other day, one of these people called uh, my friend David Condon, who's been one of my best friends since 1999. And he told me that this person called and was like, hey, you worked with Chili. What do you know about him? And, blah, blah. and David said, he's one of my best friends. I invested $50,000 into him and he did absolutely everything he said he was going to do. So that's what David told the person who called. They called his house. They called my mom. So, <laughs> so it's just, we live in a wacky society. We live in a, a society that is based on clout and based on, you know, not what you do, but who who you can destroy. You know, those most popular videos on YouTube are, you know, like, uh, like uh, Ben Shapiro destroys this, you know, liberal or, or um, you know, Tulsi Gabbard destroys. And, and then Brian and I talked yesterday about Tulsi Gabbard and how she's a gun grabber. And then I read about it and it was like, holy smokes. Hey, tough, I, you know what? I, I think that we've, I think we've, I've, I've answered enough of your questions, brother. Adios, you know. Um, I just send people packing if they just keep trolling and trolling and trolling. But I did answer all of his questions. And he did come in and start with, you know, what, what about the charges you fled in California? So, you know, it's already kind of bait material. And I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not the master of bait material on my page. So, <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's, there's all those things. There's all those things. I will. I will. I will, Naven. I will. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. 100%. And by the way, you know, I did have a tech company from 2015 to 2019 that failed. I raised uh, almost, a, I think it was 450,000 bucks. I think that's how much I raised for the tech company from 2015 to 2019. And it failed. I lost. So, and, and, and then if you want to know the, the chances of any technology being successful is about 1%. So no matter how good of an idea you have or how, what the backing is or the financing, there are several factors to technology being successful. If you have or you start an, app, an application or a website or a technology company and you're going to be successful where you make money and you are able to pay back your investors and your technology continues to thrive past paying back your investors, you're in the 1%. You're in the and I learned this by going to a, a school in Santa Monica called Expert Dojo. That's where I learned the, the statistics. Uh, Deborah Rogers has a, a YouTube channel now, guys. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Gosh, dang it. I was so disappointed reading that she wants to take away our guns. It was just like, because I really had liked Tulsi Gabbard. And then I was like, you know what? Reading that, anybody who wants to take away our guns is similar to people who want to hide the camera footage. You can't allow people to infringe on our Second Amendment right. You simply can't allow it. You can't accept it. You know, this is where, at first, I didn't vote for Trump, but I was willing to give him a chance because I know what it's like to be an alpha male and have everybody take a shot at you because you're the, you know, the person that you are and you, don't, you have bravado and, you, you know, whatever, swagger, right? So I was willing to give Trump a chance, but then when he said, you know, when he banned bump stocks and then he said, Let's take the guns and do due process later. Lost me. I mean, the moment he said that, and he was, and he was uh, sitting next to uh, 
uh, the Senator Feinstein. So it was like, yeah, that's my phone. Let me grab that real quick, real quick. Yeah, I'm checking out. Just give me, give me a few minutes, okay? Thanks. Yeah. So I have an appointment today that I've got to, I've got to go to here pretty soon. You know, and then the second part about Trump, the reason why I wouldn't vote for him is because he was supposed to pardon Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. So I don't know who we're going to vote for for president for 2026 or 2024, because you certainly can't vote for Biden. I didn't vote for Biden last time, and I didn't vote for Trump either. I voted for third party. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We have such a vacuum of leadership in our country. It's absolutely disgusting. And did anybody know what happened to frickin' media? Is frickin' media's channel back up? It, I'm not sure because I had heard. I know, I know, Sean, I haven't posted the, the, the patent. Oh, dude, not only did he stab uh, Assange in the back, what he did was he had the CIA try to kill him. And I think that that's how Assange got captured by the, by M6, but was it M6, the, the British uh, equivalent to the CIA. I think it's M6 captured Assange and then took him in. And then they, 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 they injected him with some sort of uh, something that melted his brain. Julian Assange apparently is a quarter of the man. Is it MI6? Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. So, you know, he is apparently mentally now decrepit from what the drugs they were sticking into his body. So just remember that if I ever come out of the dungeon and I'm not myself, remember what they did. Remember what they did to Assange. And, you know, just by the way, when I spoke the other day to Aaron Collins from Great Lake Audits, you know, there, when you get in trouble or when you get in trouble, when you're wrongfully arrested and wrongfully tortured and wrongfully taken to a rape cage, they will put you in solitary confinement to punish you. And as we know, solitary confinement, hey, what's going on, Wolverine? Good to see you, brother. Um, as you know, solitary confinement is absolute and pure torture. It is the worst torture, too, because it drives you mad. If they leave you in solitary confinement for a long period of time, you can go insane. You can lose your mind and go crazy. So, cool. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I do have to check out of my hotel. I have an appointment here and then I'm staying at my friend's house tonight. And then I have another place to go tomorrow. And then I have another place to go after that. So I have two or three different stops. Um, can you get a screenshot of that, Shauna? Do you, do you see that right there? Can you get a screenshot of that for me, please? Would appreciate that of, uh, if you would, please. Take a screenshot and then I will send you packing. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate that. God bless you, sir. Go with God and enjoy your day, man. Listen, it is a beautiful day outside. It is Saturday. You guys enjoy your day today. Have a great time. I'm looking forward to the UFC fights tonight. Looking forward to that. Um, if you guys want to know more about Transparency App that's coming out, uh, Brian, I sent you actually the, 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 the flow chart. You know, because Brian and I are friends, and uh, I trust Brian. So I sent you the flow chart, Brian, so you can take a look at it. It's, it is, dude. And then we'll jump on the phone, because i got to drive for 40 minutes. And then if you want to jump on the phone, we'll talk about it. And then just remember one thing, and don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. No matter what happens, under any circumstances, no matter what occurs, we don't stop. We don't stop, and we don't quit. And don't you ever quit. Remember, if you stopped, I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm waiting for you to join me. I'm waiting for you to make sure you, you join me. And either you're a person of justice or you meet me on the line and you're the tip of the spear. We don't stop under any circumstances, under any conditions. God bless you. God bless the United States. And for the love of God, don't ever, ever stop. I got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.